Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do something a little different. I drew this little character yesterday and I really want to color it. So come along with me, grab your favorite art supplies, and let's just draw together. Let's get into the video. So I've been trying to draw every day this year, and um, so far I've actually been doing pretty good. There's a few in and out days where it's just hard to find time. I've been exploring with some art style and just trying to overall improve as an artist, and I just drew this little tiny raccoon in the rain character, and I'm like, I want to color that, so that's what I ended up doing. I already have my colors picked out, I swatched them, so I was thinking of making the raccoon purple. I have little rain boots on him, so I'm going to make those yellow and then the umbrella red. I think I'm going to start with the umbrella, just because it feels like the safest option. I really am trying to get better at being okay with nothing being finished. Because I really struggle with that as an artist. It's like my biggest issue. So let me know down in the comments what are your 2023 art goals. My favorite part of any drawing or anything that I do is always adding the color. I absolutely love it. I'm always a little terrified that I'm going to ruin it, but then once I start, I'm... I'm like, yeah, let's do this, let's go. I really do want to get better at drawing, so I was like, well, how do you get better at something? You do it all the time. You work on it. So the first day, I literally just like looked around, I'm like, what do I draw? And my computer mouse was right in front of me, and I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna draw. When I look back at that page, I'm like, I actually sort of like it, so... Alright, we got a little red umbrella. It's really cute. I guess I'll do these little boots. Um, okay. Start light, get darker. Alright, now for the raccoon. Let's see. I don't have a brush marker in this because it's a no hoo hoo. I actually bought these right before they came out with their brush tips and I was I was kind of upset about it because I had just spent money on these and I mean don't get me wrong, they're fine. They they work perfectly fine, but um I love brush tips. And they literally released the brush tips, like, probably two months after I'd bought these. I had already waited a really long time to get these in the first place. And so when I found out that they were coming out with brush markers, I was just a little upset about it. But I could get some. I just, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll get them when I run out of these markers. And these have lasted me forever, so I still don't have any. But I have Copics and, um... This one is a um, Illo Hue, and I, re I really like these markers, they have good color, um, and they're good price too. If y'all are wondering why I'm doing a purple raccoon, I have no answer for you other than I think it looks good with the color scheme. That is the only reason I am coloring this purple. Um, oh, and one thing I do like about these um, hue, they do have a fine tip and then a broad tip, but they're both kind of brush-like. Um, so this one's a little more firm than the brush tip. It has kind of a brush feel to it, so it makes it really easy to use. I've never really drawn a character like this before, so I think that's 
part of the reason why I wanted to color it because I thought it was really cute. It's not my typical art style at all. Sometimes I make, you know, like realistic looking art. Sometimes it's just my comfort zone is drawing animals, um, like realistically and then kind of making them look a little cartoonish. So this was, this was really different for me to do. I had really a lot of fun doing it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna color it. Sorry if you guys can hear the wind out there. It's like there's trees basically bending over outside. It's a really nice day out, just really windy. confident enough to do that yet. <laughs> I'm gonna come back and do that in a sec. Establish some minor depth here with some shadows. Kind of like how the red pencil's peeking through a little bit. I think it like kind of makes it feel sketchy. I think I'm just gonna line art with this. And I could use a colored fine liner, but I think this is fine. I'm gonna go look for a fine liner real quick for the boots and then figure out what I want to do to get the eyes to show up and then I'll be right back. Okay so I decided to use a similar color to, of the umbrella for the sh uh, boots because I think that'll still be okay. And then for the eyes and the umbrella handle I think I'm just gonna use black. I think this was the, the right choice. Voila! That little boots. Okay, I'm gonna try this purple for the eyes, and if it doesn't work, I'll just go over it with black. Maybe I can make the eyes white. Does that look creepy? Oh, this is showing up pretty well though. This is good to help make the darker shadows come through a little more. I don't know if you guys can see these tiny details I'm adding, but they are making all the difference. Okay, now for the umbrella handle. Comes down. Might have to make this a different color to, to find that it's not part of the right color. <sighs> I guess I'll do black. like a light gray background. I'm gonna try some stuff to see what I want to do. I didn't really plan ahead for this. I'm just kind of doing it as I go. Yeah, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I want to keep it really light because I want this to be the main focus. Um, so I'm going to start off with this cool gray 0.5. Um, I don't know how this will go, but we'll see. try the bluer one. Um, this one just feels a little bit too dark and it's really similar to this purple on the um, raccoon. So, time for the rain! shadow here so it doesn't look like he's floating all right I think that's it for me on this one um I really like how this turned out it's not my usual art style but it's really cute I think I want to do more stuff like this just this chill cute little kind of art session had a lot of fun making this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching I Really appreciate it. Give it a like, subscribe so you don't miss my next video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Happy creating!